When it comes to bear market versus bull market option trading, there are a few things that you need to know to make the best decisions for your portfolio. In this video, we will discuss the basics of each market and how you can trade them. Additionally, we'll look at stock options and how they can be used to your advantage during these types of markets. We discuss bear markets and what they are, bull markets and what they are, and how long do each of them last, as well as how to trade stock options in each market. Real quick guys, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below as well as leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on the video. Also be sure and grab the free simplified options strategies trading guide. I'll put a link down below. It covers the different strategies, setups, how and when to put them on, max profit and trade management. It's a great guide to have by your side when trading options. So let's get started. A bear market is defined as a time when stock prices fall by 20% or more from their previous high. Bear markets typically happen when the economy is in a recession or is slowing down. Investing in bear markets can be tricky because you're buying stocks at a time when most people are selling. However, there are opportunities to make money if you know what you're doing. We should look to invest in sectors that perform well in bear markets. Sectors that perform well include utilities, healthcare, consumer staples, and food and drug stores. What do all of these industries have in common? They all include items that people cannot live without. We all need health care and utilities. We need to stay well and keep our lights on and heat on and have a way to communicate with our cell phones. We need to eat and continue to take care of ourselves. It's the consumer discretionaries that we can cut out when things get tough. We should also look for stocks that are undervalued and have strong fundamentals. When in a bear market, many stocks will become undervalued. This is because investors are selling stocks. This is our chance to buy the best of the best stocks in the sectors that will weather the storm. Many stocks that are down are usually down for a reason. However, there may be some that are just down due to the market as a whole being down. These can be great buys. A bull market is defined as a time when stock prices rise by 20% or more from their previous low. Bull markets typically happen when the economy is growing. Investing in bull markets is less risky than bear markets because you're buying stocks at a time when most people are buying. However, you still need to be careful because prices can go up and down quickly. Some bull market strategies include buying stocks with a history of outperforming the markets during bull markets. Stocks that have a history of performing well are usually companies with strong fundamentals. These are the type of stocks you want to own during a bull market. Companies such as Apple have already been through bear markets and come out stronger. They have huge amounts of cash on hand, and this will happen again. We want to buy growth stocks in emerging industries. Industries such as fintech, cybersecurity, electric vehicles, DNA sequencing, and robotics will lead the way in the future. Companies like SoFi, Palo Alto Networks, Illumina, and Intuitive Surgical are all companies that should do well once we enter a bull market. Bear markets typically last one to two years, while bull markets typically last four to five years. However, there is no guarantee that this will always be the case. McKenzie Financial wrote in this report a few interesting facts. Markets spend more time in positive territory than negative. Bull markets are on average longer and more intense, providing a more significant percentage change. On average, bear markets are more brief and yet propagate fear. It's during these periods that there are significant investment bargains to be found. I like to invest on both sides during both bear and bull markets. It depends on what stage of the bull or bear market that we are in as to whether I'll have more bearish or bullish positions on. It's always difficult to predict when we'll be entering a bull market or a bear market. However, there are indicators for bear markets such as high inflation and rising interest rates as inverted yield curves where the 10-year falls below the two-year. Political unrest and higher commodity prices as well can cause bear markets. If we're near highs, these conditions are present and we have been in a bull market for four to five years, then I lighten up and have more cash on the sidelines out of the market. I have at least 50% bearish and 50% bullish positions on. 
Preferably, I sell calls and call vertical spreads during this time if IV is high. However, when the market is at highs, IV is often low. So I'll hedge by buying some put spreads in the indexes such as the Qs and SPY. Once we are in a bear market and near 52 week lows, I like to have more neutral and long or bullish positions. The chances that the best companies will go out of business is low. So we can be long and feel pretty secure since they're already low and likely won't go too much lower. Strangles and iron condors are great strategies to use since the stocks will likely not skyrocket up at the beginning of a bear market either. After we have been in a bear market for a couple of years, we will likely start to emerge and enter another bull market. We don't want to wait too long and being a little early is okay too. It's much better than waiting too long and missing the big move up. I like to sell puts and put verticals on higher price stocks as well as buy leaps in the lower price stocks when coming out of a bear market. Bull markets can last for five to six years on average, so we want to be invested during this time. I like to buy leaps. This is a great way to get long exposure to stocks without having to put up the capital. At the same time, we can sell calls against the leaps. By doing this, we are capping our gains but hitting singles consistently versus swinging for the fences. This is a way to pick up some extra income and lower our cost basis. It's like a synthetic covered call that uses less capital than a covered call. I try to stay neutral to bearish by selling strangles, iron condors, and puts as the market is moving up during the bull market. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons below as well as comment and let me know your thoughts on the video and or ask a question. I'll be happy to answer it. Also, be sure and grab the free Simplified Options Strategies Trading Guide. I'll put a link down below. It covers the different strategies, setups, how and when to put them on, max profits, and trade management. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.